and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about the next type of thermometer, which is a constant volume gas thermometer. Okay, uh, I will try to explain it as simple as possible. Okay, so this is the figure. We have a glass bulb. Okay, as the name suggests, we have a constant volume gas bulb. Okay, and we have the red color marked is the mercury. So this is the mercury. Okay, now we have the mercury is then uh, the mercury from this side is attached to the a uh, flexible tube a flexible u tube and we have a capillary tube after that it is getting connected to the glass bulb okay now to note that always the mercury will be at a level up to mark c okay it cannot go up or it cannot go down okay it is only up till here now so we keep that as the reference so we keep that as the reference and you can you you will have to find out the temperature you will have to sorry you will have to find out the height and the height the difference in height will be done will happen only when there is a change in pressure so the thermometric property here is the pressure okay so what is the thermometric property of a thermocouple it is the voltage so here the thermometric property is the pressure so when there is a change in pressure there is a it means that there is a change in temperature for thermocouple when there is a change in voltage it means that there is a change in temperature if you if you didn't find uh, if you didn't uh, see my video on thermocouple feel free to watch that video now so how do you find out the pressure here the pressure can be found out when pressure p is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere plus the height of this mercury which is uh, which is rho gh which is where rho is the density of the mercury which the density of the liquid the liquid we used is mercury acceleration due to gravity g and h is the height which is this height okay now how do you really find out the temperature now okay you found out the pressure and i said that using the pressure it means that there is a change in temperature so how do you find out there is a change in temperature suppose you uh, you have a glass bulb and you keep the glass bulb attached to a body which you have to measure so what happens the temperature increases so there is an increase in temperature right for the temper uh, for the body so what happens there will be a the the uh, the gas molecules inside the glass bulb will will try to will now push the mercury down so what happens when the mercury is getting pushed down the mercury from the other side get pushed up now i said that we have to keep the mercury level up to mark c so to keep the mercury level up to uh, up to mark c the the tube has to be opened uh, up to the uh, to the atmosphere so we have an atmospheric pressure which is acting from the up so that the mercury level can be maintained at mark c okay so that is how you get this formula of p is equal to p atmosphere plus rho gh okay now how do you find out the temperature you can find out the temperature only if you know the triple point of water okay suppose if you if you dip this glass bulb into a water having a triple point of say 273.15 kelvin so you can find out the uh, you can find out the pressure corresponding to that triple point which is ptp okay say it is ptp it could be any value it could be any value now how do you find out the temperature the temperature could be found out when t is equal to the pressure p which you can find out from this formula by ptp okay where the corresponding pressure at that triple point of water into 273. One five Kelvin. So this is how you find out the temperature using a constant volume gas thermometer. Okay. So I hope this video is clear for you on constant volume gas thermometer. So from the next topic onwards, we will move on to the next chapter on work and heat transfer. So stay tuned. Thank you.